3,000 of Ukrainians are expected to arrive in Canada in the next few weeks. Now, that is before the deadline for an expedited process that allows them to work and live in this country for up to three years. Georgie Smythe is following this story. So, Georgie, what can we expect to see in the days ahead? Well, it's a very busy time for Ukrainians who are in Canada or who want to be in Canada that have already been approved to travel here. Uh, it's the latest time that Ukrainians can physically enter Canada um, under that program and, um, and receive supports like language lessons or financial supports. We know that more than a million Ukrainians applied to come to Canada under this program. About 960,000 were approved and about 250,000 have physically arrived here. So it's that group of people that have been approved that haven't yet arrived that the government is expecting or anticipating that they could arrive here, though no one's really sure how how many people that could be. We did speak to some community groups that have been given a heads up by the government that do work in this area that helps settle people when they arrive. And they've told us that they have been seeing uh, an uptick in people arriving. Uh, uptick of uh, those who are coming, but also those who wanted to come but didn't have received their papers. Even though it's been over two years, there are people who just recently, a couple of days ago, arrived a young lady from Ukraine who applied at the beginning of the war and only received her documents right now. Uh, so she, not of her own choosing, had to wait until this last moment, uh, but only now she was able to arrive. So Ukrainians that do arrive after March 31st uh, can still come into Canada. It's just that they'll be treated like any other foreigner. So they'll have to provide uh, more paperwork, there'll be more requirements, and it'll just generally be harder to travel here. And Georgie, you mentioned there are already more than 200,000 Ukrainians here in Canada. What happens with them? Yes, yeah, so the March 31st date is also significant for them as well. That's the date that they need to extend their visa to stay further in Canada as well. Um, so an additional three years for people, perhaps, that, that have that visa approved up until March 2027. Um, so, you know, an, an additional amount of time in, in Canada. But for people we spoke to, uh, they were hoping that maybe there might be something longer term for them. I want to stay. For sure, I would like to stay. I love Canada. I love uh, uh, energy, you know, of humans, and I love, uh, uh, you know, natural and uh, you know, weather. It's not so bad actually, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll try to apply uh, for a work permit uh, to get another one for uh, three years. Uh, but another, uh, in in same time, I will try to apply for. Uh, a PR card, because uh, you know when you have a permanent resident status in Canada, it looks like you are human. Now, I should say that for a small number of Ukrainians who are in Canada, they do have an option to have a sort of fast-tracked application to become permanent residents, but that's only if they already have a member of their family that's a Canadian citizen. So most people might be looking uh, only at an additional three years, and they may have to return to Ukraine, uh, even as the war continues, unless this program is extended again. Georgie Smythe in Vancouver, thank you for this.